Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we're going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I downloaded in the month of August. So, I downloaded quite a few ebooks. Some of them were on Kindle Unlimited, and then some of them I got for free. So, let's get into it. Like usual, I'm going to be talking about my Kindle Unlimited downloads first. First, I have Distance, a Dark Mafia Romance by Luna Mason. I saw a uh, Instagram reel about this book and a quote someone says in it, and I can't for the life of me remember it, and I probably deleted it off of my phone already, um, but I was very intrigued, and so I don't even remember what this is about because everything just leaves my brain the moment that I think it. <laughs> so it looks like this is about Keller and Sienna. Keller is a world heavyweight boxing champion, but he used to be like an underground street fighter and was poor, but he worked his way up and he's trapped in the mafia until all of his debts are paid. But then an enchanting British firecracker lands in his lap, knocking him sideways. Wanting her was dangerous for both of them, but he took her anyway, leaving him with the choice, fight for his freedom or hers, like, mm hmm hmm So it looks like this is a start of a mafia romance series, but it says it's a standalone. And uh, whatever quote I read, like whenever I read quotes from like reels or TikToks or um, Instagram stuff, like from a book that sucks me in, like I immediately wanna download it now. So that is saying something about this book. And I haven't heard anybody else like talk about it and has pretty good ratings. The next Kindle Unlimited book is The Stranger in Seat 8B by Nikki Castle. This was on my August TBR. I just didn't get to it. So it's just gonna roll over in my brain to September. It's a short little novella. It's just 120 pages. And it's a grumpy sunshine romance where the heroine is the grump and the hero is the sunshine. And I think they meet on a plane. And I don't know if they are together on a plane or like it's after the plane or what. Um, but I've heard really good things about Nikki Castle from Tori, my lovely friend Tori. And I haven't read any of her books. So I thought I'd start out with a novella. And um, it looks pretty fun. So whenever I need just a novella palette cleanser, that's when I'll pick this one up. Another book on my TBR that I didn't get to last month is Whiskey Business by Elliot Fletcher. Another grumpy sunshine romance, but this one takes place on the Scottish Highlands. I believe our heroine in here, um, her grandfather recently passed and she ended up owning, like getting the inheritance of his whiskey distillery business. Um, but the hero has always like been friends with her grandfather and has always been near him his whole life. And he thinks that it's unfair that like she got this business. Like he feels like she doesn't deserve it. She was never around. She's, he thinks that she's this rich hoity toity city girl. And that's all I remember from more reading it. I read like a chapter or two and that's all I got from it. But um, it's kind of long. So that's why like long for me, honestly, it's 352 pages, which it's not that long for a contemporary romance, but I'm not feeling a book that long or I haven't been really. So it's not on audio and this one is not on audio. It's gonna be read whenever I feel like it. <laughs> Another book that I think I saw a quote of and immediately downloaded is The Lingering Dark by Jade Church. This is an enemies to lovers fantasy romance. It's the first book in a series. There are two books out right now. And it says, Saf must kill the mortal queen. Sent to the mortal plane by her mother, Saf finds herself caught in a bargain with one of the people she has been told to destroy, Arin, the rebel queen's guard. After a string of magic users disappear, Saf is forced to work with Arin to undercover the culprit. But when new evidence comes to light, Saf must reevaluate everything she thought about the kingdom of stars. Plagued by her own growing feelings for the, woman's, for the woman she's supposed to hate, Saf is torn between duty and love with time running out to complete her task Saf must begin to fulfill her bargain with Arin and choose her side in the upcoming battle before it's too late right this is a sapphic fantasy romance book which I have never read before so I'm hoping this is really good another one that I think I saw a uh, quote about I do that all the time I'm just like let's that looks good let's download it this is Sweetwater by Whitney Seville so this is about Anna who is a wheelchair mom and teacher who doesn't believe that true love strikes twice she's content to raise her kids and focus on her career a chance encounter with a handsome former Green Beret demonstrates love after loss might be possible. Philip is everything that is amazing, kind, funny, and totally committed to Anna's happiness. He seems so perfect, but demons from Philip's past creep into the relationship and forces Anna to make a heartbreaking decision. Can she help Philip find his way back from his personal war? It's like a short contemporary romance. So again, when I'm in the mood for that, I'll pick that up. Um, next is releasing Maladek, which is the next book in the Clicanian Amy Roma series by Victoria Aveline. And it's like a novella part of the series. It is 228 pages, which is 
not like novella length in my brain um but it is technically compared to all the other books in this series and I wanted to read this one before I got to my arc of the new book that came out literally like a day ago um but I did not get to it <laughs> y'all it's been a like depressing month for my reading mood like a depressing month for my reading mood um so I definitely want to read this okay I do um hold me to it I want to read it um but yeah it looks really interesting he like looks behind bars so I don't know what that means but um I'm excited to read it nonetheless next is prize of the warlord by Rebecca F Kennedy this is a book that I wanted to read in September so I downloaded it on the 30th and I actually started it today today's the first and I started it today I think the heroine has a chronic illness or an illness of some sort and it's a fantasy romance book so sign me up that's like the main reason why I picked it up and she's kidnapped and I think she falls in love with the guy who kidnaps her okay next are all the books that I downloaded for free in August first is The Fire Prophecy by Megan Linsky and Alicia Raids Raids <laughs> the next like four books with this one they all look similar the cover it's because all four of them were like free one day I don't know if they have anything to do with each other but they all looked pretty good um and I think they all have like disability or chronic illness rep or someone does so this one's about Sophia and Liam and Sophia is not your typical college freshman <laughs> she never expected a lion to be stalking her nor for fire to come shooting out of her hands to protect her sister it looks like she finds out she has magical powers a guy drop dead gorgeous guy comes up to sweep her away to a magical school where she can learn how to control her elements and his name is Liam and they have an undeniable connection but he is from the water tribe and she's from the fire tribe. So I'm assuming they're not allowed to be together. Sounds like Avatar-esque, like Avatar the Last Airbender-esque, which I love, so. Um, right now, it is still currently free to download. Next one is still free. This is The Villain Institute. It says it's the first book in a series, but I think it's another series by those same authors. Um, this one is about Ava Marie and Charlie. Ava Marie is sentenced to a reform school for magical delinquents but it's really a prison. She is the only supernatural that control both fire and water. Okay, interesting. She literally shares a soul with Charlie, an inmate from the wrong side of the track. Surviving at the Institute is almost risky as falling in love, but there's a way out. The warden is offering a pardon for the team who wins the dark games, a sick twisted competition where more prisoners must come out dead where more prisoners come out dead than alive. A little Hunger Games-esque, okay? <laughs> this one's The Coven's Secret by um, Alicia Raids. It's also still currently free. This one's about Nadine and Lucas. Nadine thought witches were a myth until she moved into a secret town protected by magic. Turns out she's a witch and her powers will awaken on her 19th birthday. And uh, she's also sent to a magical academy where she meets a guy whose name is Lucas. <laughs> the last one that I got in that little bunch of books is um, Megan Linsky wrote The Wolven Mark, which is also currently free. Um, this one's about Emma and Ethan. Emma never believed magic was real until she used it to kill a werewolf. Not long after a letter arrived inviting her to a supernatural school, claiming that she is a sorceress. And apparently she's trying to find her mate who lives within the school with her. Like these sound like just like kind of cringy new adult <laughs> like college sci-fi romances not sci-fi supernatural romances um which i can definitely be in the mood in for at some points in my life um next is when the stars fall by emery rose i know nothing about this book but i saw that cheyenne i think loves it if i'm not mistaken um it was for free one day it's not free anymore but it is on kids unlimited so growing up jude McAllister was the bane of my existence my best friend and my fiercest ally the most annoying boy in the world at 18 the boy i loved to hate became the man i couldn't live without we were young madly in love invincible strong enough to weather any storm cocky enough to believe that no amount of time or distance could destroy us when jude finally turns home from returns home from overseas it should have been a cause for celebration but the man i'd fallen in love with was gone and in his place was someone i no longer recognized now after six long years he's back only my heart it doesn't just beat for him anymore it sounds messy which is definitely up <laughs> she loves messy books so i'm not surprised she loved this one <laughs> like these are hit or miss for me so i do hope that I like it. Next is A Crack in Everything by L.H. Crosway. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited. Life used to be simple. I was a city girl with humble dreams. Then Dylan O'Day broke into my flat, held me against the wall, and told me to stay quiet. 
It was like in the movies when the universe zeroes in on a single scene. I looked into his eyes and knew he was going to change me. For Dylan, the sky was always falling. He showed me how our world is a contradiction of beauty and ugliness. How we choose to ignore the awful and gloss it over with the palatable. How you need just a tiny drop of something unsavory to create every great scent. Pretty deep for a pair of teenagers living in a block of council flats in inner city, in inner, inner city, goodness, Dublin, right? Probably, but we weren't typical. We both had our obsessions. Mine was growing things, Dylan's was scent. He taught me how to use my nose and I introduced him into the magic of flowers. I had no idea that one day he'd build an empire from what we started together. But before that, there was love and happiness, tragedy and epic heartbreak. My name is Evelyn Flynn and I'm going to tell you about the crack in everything. And apparently it's a duet. So there are more books in this like series about this couple. Next is Lavender Vows by Colleen Glason. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited. So this is about a uh, gruff brooding Lord Bernard, Bernard, yeah, Bernard of Dirkland, who needs to find a wife. If for no other reason than to satisfy his father and his incessant badgering. He has no interest in marrying, but when he meets the beautiful and gentle Joanna of Swarthmore, he immediately knows that she's the one. The only problem is she's already wed to a monster. Okay, so there might be cheating in here. Next is Doom by Regine Abel. I saw a Regine Abel book for free. Duh, like I'm getting it. <laughs> Regine Abel writes alien romance books. This is the first book in her ZN Warrior series. Uh, first book of 11, so. I just, I got, I didn't even read the summary, so I'll read it with you because I don't even know what it's about. Um, this is available off of Kindle Unlimited, by the way. The battle for Earth has begun. Victoria's dreams of a cozy life as a small town doctor come crashing down when the monstrous cryptids make first contact. The alien invaders only have one goal, to turn Earth into a breeding ground. As she fights to protect her patients in their makeshift hospital, an even more fearsome alien and his beasts enter the fray. She should be terrified of the male, ominously named Doom, but she's mesmerized. As a genetically engineered war machine, Doom lives with a single purpose, eradicating the cryptids. Coming to Earth with his, with his brothers to save humans should be a straightforward matter, but years of bloody battles throughout the galaxy have not prepared him for the fiery Victoria. Enchanted by the courage of, the, of that wisp of a woman, Doom offers her his protection and that of his fearless war beast Strand as she attempts to rescue other wounded humans. After disaster strikes on their homeworld, the Xan Zeon warriors now also face extinction. Will the cryptids finally defeat their only real threat or will the delicate human that has stolen both Doom's hearts, both of Doom's hearts, <laughs> also be the warrior's seed of hope? That's really cute. That sounds really cute. Um, Next is an improper proposition by Amy Rose Bennett. I saw an Amy Rose Bennett book for free, so I picked it up and it is still currently free. This is about Bianca, who is the widowed Countess of Wells. And apparently this is her romance with the much younger, rakishly handsome footman, Harry Blake. I, d I just read that one line and I immediately downloaded it. Cause that sounds really fun. <laughs> A younger, rakishly handsome footman. Sign me up, I'm, I'm here for it. Then I have All You Need, An Enemies to Lovers Contemporary Romance by Lena George. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited. And I'm um, like, this seemed really fun. It seems like he's a baker or something. Welcome to Cedar Springs where first impressions are everything. And let me tell you one thing, Anthony Jones did not make a good impression. In fact, his entire personality is as bland as his name and I'd, ha and I'd be happy to never see him again. But get this, he's renting the storefront next to my gym in order to open a bakery. Not only does that ruin my plan to expand my personal training business, but that also means I'm going to see him almost every day until he realizes that Cedar Springs is not the town for him. It's such a shame, really. He's kind of cute. It's a shame that he's so vanilla. On second thought, maybe he just needs some spice in his life and that spice can be me. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, last one is Burn For Me by Sarah Kate. This was free at the time, but it's not anymore. This is on Kindle Unlimited. I just saw a Sarah Kate book and got it. And that's like it. <laughs> Sarah Kate um, has written some books I really like. And when you just find an author's books that you really like for free, I just, I download it, so I don't even know what this book is about, but my friends have liked it. Anyways, there you have it. Those were all of the ebooks that I ended up downloading last month in September. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me, I think there's a bread emoji, bread emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.